come now to visit with the wild woman as she is presiding in her temple of wild things. She is no longer the shy wild creature we met earlier. She has found her center and now possesses the awe-inspiring power of the spirit. She is the Sibyl, the Pythia, the Vulva, the Prophetess. She sits with her legs spread wide apart over a deep chasm in the earth. A memory of a recent earthquake. She is not afraid. Below her, in the crack of the good earth, burns sweet smelling sandalwood, mixed with kaifi and inf incense, the finest offered. Her eyes are closed. You approach her with reverence. Your whole body is relaxed as you breathe deeply the amber incense you are burning. There are others in this temple with you. Women and men, all waiting for the moment when the priestess, the wild woman, looks into your eyes and asks you, Show me your heart, child. It is almost your turn now. And suddenly, it is. The priestess is totally focused on you. Her eyes deeply penetrate your soul. With your right hand, you take your heart. With your whole life and all your feelings. and hand it over to her warm, capable hands. Feel her careful handling. She receives your heart and kisses it. And all the hurt from your emotional body just melts away. Now she is going to say something to you. You wait and watch her face. Listen carefully. The message can be short or long. Remember what is said.
she hands your heart back to you and you place it in your body again. You kiss her hands in gratitude as you would kiss the hands of a benefactor. You are now moving into the back of the temple and allowing others to speak to her. You feel unconditional love. The future is constantly changing, as we are changing. What you glimpse through prophecy is true only for that phase of time. Dance your dance of life, and don't hesitate or get hung up on the future.